Oh, Colin, baby. It's so nice to see you again. Beetle black eyes against baby blue sky billboards, sweet, beautiful Mr. Craig. I feel like I'm seeing you everywhere. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean to me. No. I know what that's supposed to mean to me. I see beady Mr. Burns eyes peering down at me and I know that you'd hate a liberal, aggressive, bisexual feminist, but instead... Oh, Colin, baby. I love you. I love you, baby. Like my suburb loves ambivalence, loves the idea of gay TV characters and hates the idea of queer kids. Love you, Colin. And I mean this earnestly. I mean it like I meant it when I said I wouldn't kill myself because it would make other queer kids feel like they couldn't make it. We'd been standing at the edge of Murray's Bay Wharf at low tide since we hit puberty, hoping that we wouldn't hope to fall and hit the rocks when we saw our rock firmly frowning at us from cardboard, lodged in wood, lodged in grass, where I kissed my first and last girlfriend, and oh, Colin, baby, you kept me alive. You were in my room today. Mum had pinned you to the bulletin board. She was trying to be funny, but it wasn't funny at all. It was fate. Your pamphleted face peering up at me and, oh, Colin, baby, you were smiling. I'd never seen you smile like that before. I guess we'd all smile like that if we had to stand for something of such surety. You're the moon to my landing, the rights to my gay, the climate to my change, the dubious to my best. Oh, Colin, baby. Beetle black eyes standing against the edge of an East Coast Bay's coastline illuminating my rainbow sky. Oh, Colin, baby! As the sobs subside from my shoulders and I step back from the edge of the wharf, I realize men like you will always keep me afloat. Lull in the tides and pull me away from the rocks because when one repressed little religious spirit of a man can take himself so seriously, so can I. <laughs>